besties and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For anyone who is new here, I'm Sophia and I love writing romance books. Now I have in fact just finished filming a TBR video but that is not what this video today is about. There has been a little bit of a trend going around on booktube recently where we kind of show you how much we realistically read in a week, how much we manage to read with everything else going on in our lives and it's kind of just like a little fun weekly vlog with a bit of more of a focus on like actually what we're reading. And I also figured my physical TBR is ginormous. It's huge. Huge. I really want to get that number down a little bit and I figured what better way than doing some reading vlogs. Now I am a big big moo reader. I really struggle to stick to a strict TBR and so this vlog is kind of perfect for me because I get to read what I want and bring you along with me anyway. So yeah I'm really excited to bring you along with me for the week. I am a full-time uni student. I'm also working casually like 15 hours a week so that does sometimes leave me with not very much time to read so I figured why not it's realistic it's it's what I managed to read in a week whether that be five pages or like 200 pages we'll see hello it is Tuesday of the following week and I figured it was about time I actually started this reading vlog. I may or may not have ditched my last university lecture of the day so that I could come home and sit outside in the sun and just read and honestly I have no regrets. But I am going to tell you about my current read which is Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. So I am actually quite a ways into this book. I'm almost finished which I will talk to you more about in two seconds. But basically the whole premise of this book is that Wynne and Bo have a one night stand and lo and behold she falls pregnant. And honestly, that is kind of the entire plot, but I'm not mad about it. This book is just so sweet and mature and realistic and just so freaking wholesome. Bo is just the cutest, nerdiest guy, but he does retain his sex appeal and he's just oh he really does have my heart I'm not even gonna lie earlier on in this book he was kind of giving me the ick with how cute he was but he's kind of he's kind of won me back a little bit and then Wynne is just honestly just so lovely she's such a nice woman and she's just such a whole character and I really really love her. Wynne and Bo actually both have a limb difference which is kind of how they meet sort of kind of it's kind of what they first connect on and yeah I'm really really loving the representation in this book it's just it's so good it's so well rounded both of these characters have pretty dark traumatic pasts but they maintain this real air of just like positivity and optimism and just honestly appreciating life and it's just so so sweet to read about it's really heartwarming I guess it's just very sweet and wholesome and honestly like the perfect book to just curl up and read in like an evening when you just want to feel like you're being wrapped in a warm hug so actually a little bit more about my reading progress because that is the entire point of this video how much I realistically read in a week I started this book off this morning at 236 pages I didn't start it this morning started a few days ago but I read a chapter this morning just before I got up it was really really nice it was a very short chapter I kind of wish it was a little bit longer but it's fine <laughs> and then I read that chapter went to uni came home a little bit early a bit sneaky and then I sat outside and read I think like 54 pages I finished off on 296 pages which means I actually have just under 100 pages left so I kind of I kind of want to try and finish this tonight because I have things that I could be doing but none of them are urgent so I could potentially finish this book tonight which just makes me so excited to say because I've been in the biggest book slot for the past two months so I'm really really excited that this one is actually keeping my attention but yeah we'll see how that goes and I'll probably update you if I finish it Off to uni now, and I will talk to you when I get there. <laughs> Hello, I made it to uni. Um, I'm petrified that people can see me right now. So last night I finished Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young, which is so exciting. It was just so realistic, like 
they had so many real issues but then the communication and just like the way they worked through things and the way their relationship developed and just it was so fucking cute i think i'm gonna settle on a 4.5 stars i'm like between a 4.25 and a 4.5 the only reason it's not a 5 is because i like a bit more angst in my books a bit more drama but that's just a me thing that book was amazing honestly and i'd probably give it a two out of five on the spicy scale it wasn't particularly spicy i think there was three scenes and they weren't that you know incredible yeah you also would have seen a little montage i went for a walk this morning and i listened <laughs> i listened to the akamath audiobook a court of mist and fury i've been listening to it for like two months now but it's fine. Um, I'm working my way slowly through it, but I listened to chapter 47, chapter 48, <laughs> and partway through chapter 49. Let me tell you, it was an experience listening to Smart <laughs> via audiobook. Um, I don't know if I loved it. It just kind of icked me out a bit. It also could have just been the narrator where I'm like, yeah, I don't really like this. Just made me a little bit uncomfy. And then the fact that I was like out on a walk as well, it was like. But yeah, I'm at uni because I have a lab to go to, a laboratory. I'm kind of stressed about it because the stuff we're doing in it goes towards an assessment that we have to write afterwards. And I'm like, if I fuck something up, there goes my assessment. You know what I mean? Oh my God, there's a dragonfly. Wait, can you see it? Where is it? May I come back? Mm come back oh i can't see it he was pretty cute but he was really small i don't think i have anything else to update you on i would really recommend out on a limb it's honestly it's a really really good accidental pregnancy i think it's probably the best one i've read and just all of the characters oh my god they just really tied the story together it did get a little bit cringy at certain points but i feel like that's just kind of a given when you're reading contemporary romance i forgave it i really enjoyed that book i really enjoyed it the hype on that one is very much deserved and yeah i'm probably gonna sit on tiktok for a bit and then i'm gonna walk across campus because parking here is horrendous and i'm gonna go to my lab which is four hours long Ah! So I am home from uni now, if you could not tell. My lab ran for the full four hours, so I'm a little bit brain dead. But we need to pick my next read. I have a plethora of options for my next read, but in all honesty, I think I think my most anticipated book of this kind of month, I suppose, is Playing to Win by Monica Murphy. So I think I'm gonna pick up this one. I'm like tossing up between playing to win and done and dusted which is also on the tbr but i think i'm gonna read this one and then maybe i'll read done and dusted because i'm kind of vibing a sports romance i don't know it's final season for the nro here in australia which is like the one sport that i really follow and while this is american football it's still kind of like athlete vibes so you know i think i'm gonna pick this one up i'm very excited to read it i love playing by the rules which is the second book in this series pretty sure it's a college nfl romance um he's like a reformed playboy i saw someone say that this one is second chance which i'm not 100 percent sure about i to be honest don't think it is but second chance not my favorite trope but i'm willing to give it a go regardless and yeah i think i'm I'm gonna read this one. So today is Thursday and I read literally nothing yesterday on Wednesday. Um, I just honestly did not have the time and I crashed by like 10 p.m. But very exciting news. I'm starting playing to win. And so far it's it's very intriguing. You know, I'm not sure if this book was the right choice. It is so freaking cringy. I swear Monica's books aren't usually this bad, but this one's like really icking me out. She just called him Big Boy. Yeah, that's not my kind of thing. I sort of want to go and pick up a different book. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of in the mood for a dark romance or like a mafia, so kind of tempting. I might give it a few more pages just while I see it out in the sun and then then maybe I'll, maybe I'll change. We'll see. The weather today is the total opposite of yesterday. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's currently raining. It literally stormed all morning, which is honestly, honestly, kind of a blessing because it is the perfect weather to read. Playing to win. Um, I can't do this. I can't do this right now. I read, I read 24 pages yesterday and then I decided, you know what? 
I need to be in a more tolerable attitude, mood, mental state. <laughs> To be able to read that book um monica's books are like so hit and miss sometimes they're really cringy sometimes they're like a work of art no in between so that one you know i'm sure to get better once the characters kind of develop their voices more throughout the book but right now i can't do it i did say in that last clip that i was potentially feeling a dark romance a mafia romance perhaps so i picked up picked up i say picked up tentatively i picked up Dub devil of dublin and painted scars very very briefly i read a couple pages of each of them and i decided that i'm not actually in a dark romance mood i consulted the tbr again last night and i settled on done and dusted by lila sage i i don't know i i read like not a lot at all <laughs> i read 16 pages of this one last night and it kind of grabbed me and i was i just settled on the idea that this one is the one that i'm probably gonna read next and actually stick to i do this a lot when i'm in like a funny mood or a little funk or like not sure about what i want to read next i'll read like the first few pages or chapters of a book and like just develop my opinion on them before i actually decide which one i want to read and Dylan Dusted is today's lucky winner, <laughs> or yesterday's lucky winner, I should say. It's a cowboy romance brother's best friend. She's like had a really bad knock in confidence and decided to leave the barrel racing tour circuit. Don't really know how it works. And she's come back to her hometown and kind of reunited with her best friend. Well, not reunited, but like they've always been best friends, but they're kind of you know what I mean. She's living with her best friend again. Um, she's not told anyone she's home. She's just like here. Yeah, I'm enjoying this one so far. We have indeed been introduced to the hero. Not sure how I feel about him yet. I'm not sure. Takes me a hot second to develop my opinion, but once I have an opinion developed, you'll be the first to know about it. <laughs> Otherwise, my plans for today slash the weekend, because today is Friday, believe it or not, I have to finish editing a video. I would love to get a little bit more written on one of my clinical immunology assignments um, about, it's about anatomical uh, histopathology this one and then the finals rounds for the NRL here in Australia is starting tonight I think it's the Broncos versus the Storm and I love the Broncos I don't support that team but they're hot so I like watching their games <laughs> yeah I'm gonna watch that one I'm probably gonna read my book while I watch which is always like just a good vibe then I'm working both Saturday and Sunday Saturday I'm working 11 till 7 Sunday I'm working 10 till 6 not sure how much reading I'm gonna get done on those two days and i'm also not sure how much i'm gonna update you guys but yeah i'm gonna go edit this video and then i'm gonna go write an assignment and then i'm hopefully gonna go read my book I thought I'd give you a very, very quick update. It's currently Tuesday. <laughs> I had a really big weekend at work and then I just spent yesterday working on assignments and recovering. So I didn't get to read anything, which is like so sad because I really want to finish a second book in this video. But I might go home from uni early today to try and finish Done and Dusted. I think I got to like page 40 or 50 on Friday and I'm pretty sure it's only like a short book. So might go home early and finish it um but yeah i'm at uni now i really need to run to class so this update's gonna be very very brief but so far really liking done and dusted i'm very like intrigued by emmy's backstory and like why she's come home and then i don't know how i feel about what's his name i don't remember his name luke i don't know how i feel about him yet i don't I don't know. The fact he owns a bar is a little bit strange. I don't know why, but men owning bars just kind of like gives me the ick. <laughs> but the fact that he's like a horse riding instructor, that's fucking cute. That is so adorable. So yeah, that's my thoughts so far. Um, I'm very intrigued. Teddy and Emmy's brother are so obviously going to get a book. I think that's the next one. Is it like called like Swift and Saddled or something? I don't know, but I need to go to class. So I'll speak to you hopefully in a couple of hours. <laughs> I did indeed come home early, but I spent my time having a nap instead. <laughs> Maybe we can just... Ten p. 
p.m. on the same Tuesday and I have been reading. I've made some progress. I'm currently about 40% into the book. I'm on page 126 and I have some more developed thoughts. <laughs> so my most blaring thought, I suppose, is that they say each other's names so much. They will be the only two people in the scene, but they will address each other with their names every single sentence. And it's grating on my nerves a little bit. And also, like, the story is fun or whatever, but I just don't really care. There's a bit of telling and not showing going on, and the, it was pretty insta-lusty, and there was no kind of build-up of tension, at least not so far. So I'm like... Maybe as I keep reading, it'll get better, but we will see. I think I've also decided that I'm going to keep this vlog going until I finish Dawn Dusted because I want to give you guys some valuable content, you know what I mean? Valuable? Maybe that's not the right word, but, you know, I feel a bit stupid just reading one book in a really long vlog. So we're going to read two. So we're going to stick it out until I finish Dawn and Dusted, which hopefully is going to be within the next day or two because... I really just want to get it finished. <laughs> good welcome to the end of the video so currently thursday this video did run a little bit longer than a week but i wanted to include two video two two videos two books just because it's a little bit boring when it's only one book so i finished done and dusted last night it was some ungodly hour so i wrote myself some notes so done and dusted i really enjoyed this book the last like 20% I did not want it to stop I just wanted to like stay in that world keep reading so I'm very very excited for the next book but I don't think it's coming out until like next year March next year I'm pretty sure it's because Lila got a publishing deal but I'm like what do you mean I have to wait for the next book in this series but yeah this one was really really good it did live up to the hype I think I'm gonna settle on a four star and probably a three out of five on the little spicy scale I think and I never say this I think it could have actually benefited from an additional 50 pages this book was only like 320 pages long I think it could have benefited from an extra 50 just to develop the plot and the relationships with kind of a few more scenes there was sort of a bit of a skip in regards to Emmy's journey to like regaining her confidence when riding her horse where we see kind of one two scenes where she's like freaked out can't even go near the horse well can go near the horse but like has a panic attack at the thought of even getting on it and then we just kind of have like some time where it's just her and Luke and their relationship and whatever and we don't really hear anything about her riding and then it sort of comes back in at the end of the book where she's like out on the gallops and she's like perfectly okay like she has a little bit of PTSD over it but she's like chill she can ride she can gallop she's like going back out to do barrel racing I think it could have benefited from a scene just one scene in the middle where it was kind of this clicking moment for her where she sort of actually realized no I can do this um, no, this isn't as scary anymore. Like, I can do this. I feel okay doing this. I just think that kind of plot point could have benefited from kind of a bridging scene between the two, um, ends of her journey, I guess. <laughs> a breakthrough moment. That's what I'm trying to say. I would have loved a little scene where we actually saw her, like, breakthrough moment and, like, yeah, her realisation that she can do this. And I sort of feel the same about her and Luke's relationship. I would have loved... It was quite insta-lusty and the first scene that they kissed they ended up having sex I think or like it was the second scene after they kissed they like went all the way. I think it would have been nice to have an extra scene or two just like developing the tension between the two of them because it was quite insta-lusty. I don't think it was insta-lovey. They definitely did have that like gradual progression but it was just a bit insta-lusty for me and I would have loved, I love tension in books. I'm a sucker for tension so I just would have enjoyed, would have appreciated an extra, an extra scene or two of like developing the tension and their actual relationship because they kind of had this establishing few scenes where their relationship kind of got started but then it just kind of didn't progress after that they didn't continue learning about each other and I just think an 
and, and a couple of additional scenes would have really really helped this book. It absolutely had five star potential for me if it just had those few extra scenes. But overall with all of that aside I still really enjoy this book. I love the setting and the atmosphere and the whole cast of characters and <laughs> I was getting towards the end and I was like actually sad that it was ending so I'm really really looking forward to the next book. I did quite enjoy Emmy and Luke's characters. I came to really like them. Luke just cringed me out a little bit at times when he was being like big and alpha and protective but you know sometimes it's good sometimes it goes a little bit too far but I still really enjoyed this book and I'd absolutely recommend it. I would recommend both of the books that I read in this video. I think I had actually a very successful week, week and a half and yeah I actually really enjoyed both of these which is so nice and with that kind of little wrap up we have officially come to the end of this video. I will absolutely absolutely be continuing reading vlogs because I actually had a really fun time and it kind of kicks my butt into gear and like it motivates me to actually read so expect some more reading vlogs in the future. I'm kind of wanting to start one literally today but we'll see how we go so yes thank you so so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe my goodreads my instagram they're always linked in the description if you want to follow me over on there we can have a little chat you can investigate all the books i've read i don't know um but yeah thank you so so much for watching and i will hopefully see you next week bye